space and intervals. <coughs> so the question here is to find courses on members. There's one continuous member which is A, B, C, D. That's one four long rod. Then you have a member A, E. Then you have a member C, F. And you got another bottom member starting E, F, J, G. <coughs> so <coughs> this is a typical frame. You notice that you have one member which is going all the way from here to here. Then you have another member which is going all the way from here to here. Then you got one member going this way, one member going this way. So it's a total of four members. And on the top member, force is applied between the two joints, A and D. So <coughs> that's a, a, a typical example of a frame. And, and you'll see this is more like a mixed situation where some of them act like a frame member and some of them act more like a truss member. So let me redraw the free body diagram for the whole system. If you redraw the whole system by itself, then there is a pin here, there is a pin here, there is a pin here, pin here, except this pin doesn't go across. It's more like this. And right here, this pin is really like this. Then there's a member here. <coughs> then you have a force here, that 60 pounds. Okay, G is a pin. I could place two reactions, GX and GY. C, uh, D is also a pin or a hinge. So you could place the reaction DX and DY. And again, the dimensions here will be that's two feet, and we're going from here to here to here, this being 1.5 feet, 1.5 feet, and 1.5 feet. So that's what you have as the free body diagram for the whole thing. I mean, you're considering the entire frame, and all you did was isolated the supports and you place two rea reactions per support. Now, <coughs> there are four unknowns, there are three equations. That means you can solve for all of them. But if I make an attempt to do that, which means if I sum the force in x, and that should give us gx plus dx and I should go to zero. I could also sum the forces in y direction, and that should give us negative 60 going down, gy is going up, dy is going up, and it should add up to zero. So this is point G. I could sum the moments around G. If I sum the moments around G, what do we get? We get 60. This one is <coughs> at a distance of 30 <coughs> counterclockwise. So let's take that as positive. Then this is not going to give any moment. This is not going to give any moment. That's only this. So you go dx, distance is 2, and that's a uh, clockwise moment, make it negative, change it to counterclockwise, and that should add up to zero. So we get the reaction dx, that will be so 63 divided by 2. Okay, so that's one reaction, and that should be 90 pounds. And it came out positive, which means it should keep going from left to right. So from this equation, 
I could find gx. That should be just negative of dx or negative 90 pounds going the same way. Or positive 90 pounds going uh, right to left. 